How you doing everyone? Mario here at Mommy Bait and Tackle. Today is May 2nd. Uh, we're, the walleye are slowly moving out of the Mommy River and the, uh, the white bass are moving in. Uh, moving in quickly. Saw some good numbers the last couple days. Yesterday was a little slow, but today it's picking up again. Um, but I wanted to show you a little lure that I use. Uh, that, that seems to attract them when the bite is slow and I, I get a lot of big ones this way Okay, a lot of people these white bass are voracious. They come in the river. You can catch them with minnows You can catch them on worms minnows under a bobber um, Rooster tails spinning baits You name it uh, Ryan and I have gone out and messed around We've caught them on rubber bands and cigarette butts So they, they look for anything with the flash they bite they're voracious. They're in here to feed they're in here to spawn, and man, they're hungry and mean. So they're, they're a lot of fun to catch, and they bite a lot of different things. But one little bait that I found works really good, um, I'm going to show you right now. All right, so I got my fishing pole, and what I do is I tie on a floating jig hook, okay? Floating jig hook, just straight to the line. No special knot, just a regular old square knot, straight to the line, okay? Just like that. Then I run down about 18 inches, 18 inches, two foot, something like that, whatever's manageable for you. And I take a weighted lead head jig. So this is the weight. The other one's floating, no weight. This is the weight. This goes at the end, okay? So I tie this guy on, you know, 18, 24 inches, nothing, nothing scientific about these white bass, okay? Tie it on with a good knot. So that I've got something like this. You got your floater, and then at the bottom of it is your is your weighted jig head, okay? So floater, weighted jig head. Alright? And what I do is I take a large large size so like a four inch three and a half inch twister tail grub white pink or green put that on the floater and I usually use a large floater too uh, to present a bigger target okay so I've now I've got on the top of my line the big floater with a big tail big target okay then I go down to the bottom and I use a smaller tail. I just modified that tail, as you can see, to make it a little smaller. But I use a smaller tail on the bottom so they're not biting at the tail. They're getting the hook. And then on the weighted jig head, I've got the smaller tail, if you can see that. Okay? So then what I've got hanging off my rod, let me scroll back a little bit. So this is what I've got hanging off my rod, like this. Okay, if you can kind of see it. You've got the large jig head up here, and you've got the smaller with the weight down here. Don't use two lead heads. It'll just go to the bottom and tangle up, and you'll just piss yourself off every time. No weight. Weight at the bottom. Okay? Cast that out. Whoosh, there it goes. They're chasing the big one, the flash. Trailing behind it is the smaller one. Nine out of ten times, that's the one they're going to smash into. All right, and get that one. What they're seeing is they're seeing this thing flashing and they're seeing a trailing wounded minnow or a, or a school of minnows is what they're thinking it is, right? So they're catching the attention of this big one, flashing and vibrating, moving around in the water. Once in a while, they'll bite this one if you hit the right spot. Nine times out of 10, that trailer smokes them, man. All right, so nothing too crazy, pretty simple. Floating jig head on top, lead head on the bottom. All right, have a good time, guys. Okay, guys, you just saw my video tutorial on how to build the magic white bass lure. So dangerous, it's almost illegal, right? It's like cheating. Okay, there's a couple other things you can do to spice that lure up, all right? One of the things I like to do is use the paddle tails. See, I mean, uh, double tails. See that? Double tail lures on the bottom there, on the top and the bottom. Gives you that little extra action, a little more wiggle. Sometimes that little extra flash helps. All right, so there's that lure. 
and I'm getting ready to use this May 1st. All right, the uh, spring walleye rules are in effect until May 1st, which this year is Sunday, May 1st, 2022. One other little option that I like to use are these paddle tails. See that? You put that little paddle tail right with a, uh, a lead head jig, just straight on a lead head jig by itself, no leader, uh, no top lure. Run that up there. How am I putting it on? Run that up there. And you kind of got something that looks like that, right? Good action. Doesn't even necessarily be that color option, but that little paddle tail looks just like a minnow coming in from the water, okay? So a couple different things. Paddle tails, double tails, okay? All right, guys, have a great day.